Hello and welcome to the lesson 50 in the creation of our school management system using Microsoft Excel and Word VBA with the GeForce IT Service Academy. In lesson 49, we dealt with how to insert the formulas that can help us to indicate the total amount received from our students, the total amount received from our learners in each class. Now, in this lesson, we are going to learn how to autofill for the rest of the classes. We are going to learn how to autofill this particular formula so that whenever any student pay from any other class, we can be able to see the amount received. We can be able to see the installment one, two, three, and four in our system without any stress and without any problem. So if you are new to the channel, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you share these videos with your friends and family members to also benefit from us. Please make sure that you turn on the notification bell icon for all as we upload more videos on how to create a school management system using Microsoft Excel VBA. So without wasting much time, let's just get started. Watch the video from the beginning to the end. Watch it carefully. And check the description of this video for more video links on how to create a school management system and not any other thing. Uh, so, what we are going to do is that we are going to stand here. We started this in lesson 49. So, we are going to stand here. Let your cursor or your mouse pointer appear like the plus sign. Then you left click and hold. So, we are going to auto fill this for the rest of the classes. As I said earlier in our previous videos, we are developing this system for 505 students. So we are going to do the auto filling for all of them. So just leave it like this. So we should be able to see zero. It means no student has paid here. So that is it. So what we are going to do now is that we are going to control S to save our work. Don't forget to save your work. Always control S to save your work. So we are moving to uh, this side here. So let's just try something in our system. Let's just try something. So let's assume that uh, this is KG2. I think this is KG2. Yes, KG2. So the student paid only 20 CDs as the first installment. So let's hit enter and see. So amount received will appear in the system as what? 20 CDs. This is the amount that the, the student has paid this is the amount that the student has paid so let's just check something here so let's come to this one here then let's assume that the first installment is 300 cities you enter it like this it should appear here as the amount received because that is what the person has paid so that amount must reflect in the system for everyone to know that or for everyone to see that the student has paid so, so so and so amount so let's say that the person has paid another 100 cities as the fourth installment it must appear here so this 100 here plus the 300 here is making what 400 so the 100 plus the 300 is making what 400 so now the next thing that we are going to do is to work on the balance we are going to work on the balance here we already programmed the system to determine the exact amount that a student must pay, the, the exact amount that each student must pay. So there should be a formula, there should be a code that can help us to determine the balance here. We need to see the balance here. So what we are going to do is that we are going to insert that formula too as well without wasting much Time. So let's quickly insert our equal to sign. Please make sure that you watch the video from the beginning to the end. Don't skip any parts because you miss something valuable. Don't skip any part because you miss something valuable. All right, so you insert your equal to sign. Then the balance is going to be the fees minus receive. The fees minus receive. So after inserting your equal to sign here like this, just move your mouse pointer or your cursor or whatever to this side then you select the first one like this then you insert minus then you come to receive here select this one too then you hit enter good so the balance here is supposed to be zero 
the balance is supposed to be zero because of a particular reason so we don't want this video to be long we don't want the tutorials to be long so we would like to end it here and continue in lesson 51 so please make sure that you watch this video from the beginning to the end so thank you very much for watching this video so thank you very much for watching this video up to this point please make sure that you subscribe to the channel as you wait for lesson 51 to be uploaded onto this channel so thank you very much let's meet in lesson 51 bye bye Thank you.